Hey diggers, I'm back at this house where uh, on Tuesday I found uh, 62 coins in three hours, eight of which were, si well, seven silvers and one silver ring. See the foundation stones? That's always a good sign that this is an old house. Well, I've been here about 20 minutes and I've dug three wheat pennies, a couple modern nickels, and I just had a real nice um, 1246, about six inches deep. I think you can see the silver there. Not sure what it is yet. Looks like a rosy, but I'll take it. On to the next. All right, uh, right there's where I found that rosy, and I've worked around this tree and got a couple memorials, but I just had a real nice deep high pitch gonna be another rosy excellent on to the next hey good morning diggers I'm here at uh, the park where I found the half cent a couple weeks ago and I'm here with uh, Tony two cent and uh, <laughs> he's probably digging up modern zinc pennies but I got my first signal it was down nine inches and it's a wheat penny all right so uh, maybe we'll get lucky and knock out something really good today on to the next. Okay, um, still kind of in this same general area. Got a really nice looking weedy. All right. On to the next. Okay, um, Tony and I, he's over there. Tony and I have switched parks, and I just had my first good signal. Looks like a, perhaps an 1890 Indian head. I'm not sure of the date, but anyway, that's a good one. On to the next. Hey diggers, it's uh, super windy, so I apologize for the wind noise. I'm here with uh, Tony Two Cent. We've stopped at the site where we think there was an old school. I've been here about 10 minutes, and I've got a penny signal about six inches down, and it looks like I've got me a Merc. Yep. Excellent. Finally on the board with some silver. Tony's been killing me this weekend. All right, on to the next. Well, after I found that Merc, I rechecked the hole, and there's a wheat penny in there. All right, that's a little coin spill, 11 cents. I'll take it. All right, I apologize again for the wind noise. I know there's a lot of it. Just had a pretty high-pitched. I'm kind of surprised it's a rosy as deep as it was. It's kind of tarnished. It looks like maybe it was near a fire or something, perhaps. All right, on to the next. Hey diggers, uh, this is just kind of a wrap up of my weekend hunts. Uh, I hunted Friday at that house where last week I found all those coins. And then Saturday and sunny, Sunday, um, Tony Two Cent came down and he and I did a lot of metal detecting. Uh, this is my modern coins, what we sometimes call clad coins. I found uh, 32 quarters, which equals uh, $8.00. And in the nickels, I found 17 nickels, 
several were in the 40s and 50s and uh, of course that equals uh, 85 cents. A lot of people ask me how I dig so many nickels but uh, I find they make a unique sound on the e-track that can most of the time, not every time, but most of the time I can tell the difference between a pool tab and a nickel. And I got uh, 27 dimes, two dollars and seventy cents and I got uh, 31 modern pennies and uh, I try not to dig modern pennies as much as possible uh, but these were all deep and could have possibly been a silver dime or even a wheat penny. So uh, the deeper ones I tend to dig, but the shallow ones, like one or two inches in a park, I will not dig. So my total um, modern coins came to $11.86. Now I'll get to the good stuff. All right, and here's the good stuff. Uh, you may recall I said I dug 31 modern pennies, but I dug 49 wheat pennies. Now they're not in the best of shape, that's for sure. Uh, the soil where I dug most of these was pretty harsh on the, the wheat pennies. And uh, these ones that I'm showing you now are actually in better shape, but those came from a park. And this one's kind of interesting. 1918, but it's probably the nicest 1918 wheat penny I've ever dug. It's got a lot of detail on it. It looks like it was, I don't know if it was dipped in mercury or gold plated, but it seems to have some kind of a golden color to it that uh, doesn't look like a natural patina. But anyway, that's a nice one. And I got a uh, this 1951 um, rabies dog tag and I got a really neat token it's got the fella's name I think these are kind of a good luck token you get made at a carnival or a fair it says Keith Freeman and then here it says LA 3615 which I think is an old style phone number then he has age 15 uh, I'm actually going to contact their historical society in that town and see if we can find any record of this young man. Maybe figure out what year this was made. Uh, maybe he's still alive. I don't know. I also found uh, one of them good luck tokens. It says um, membership in the not or the don't worry club. And on the other side, it says that it entitles the bearer to 50 cents when depositing five dollars in this bank at Gillespie, Illinois. And you have to keep the account open for 12 months for the 50 cents to stick. So uh, uh, this is probably from the 30s, perhaps. And uh, got this uh, nice 1890 Indian head. I got a Merc and three Rosies and I also got a Tootsie Toy which I always love finding Tootsie Toys in fact inside Tootsie Toy Dragster and it's stamped USA there Chicago USA so it's older. Anyway, that was a nice find. All right, well, I appreciate you coming down and hunting with me, Tony. It was a lot of fun, and uh, I always enjoy the camaraderie and the great finds we make. So uh, thanks to everyone for watching this video and posting your comments. Uh, thanks for watching. Happy hunting.